I am Rick Steves, and we're enjoying walking in walking country in England, and that's the Cotswolds. This is in Gloucestershire. And the great thing about walking in England, you stumble upon beautiful things. We're in a little village called Stanton, and uh, look at this church. Evocative graveyard. Must have been on a holy ground. You know, the history goes way, way back, and when Christianity came, a lot of the local people had their pagan religions, and the churches would have been built on what would have been a holy site. How do I know that? Well, you don't need to be a brilliant archaeologist. You just look above the door, and if you see St. Michael, he was the guy that was sort of the saint in charge of combating pagan images. So we step into the church thinking, okay, this was built on pagan ground, holy ground for the pagans. In fact, when you look up above, a lot of times you see sort of ghoulish characters that predate Christianity that were incorporated into the church. The church goes way, way, way back. In fact, when you look at the list of rectors, uh, I just always find this interesting. It goes in an unbroken chain from our days all the way back to 1269, John of Tuying. And uh, what I really like about these evocative churches is you remember, you know, what was the industry? And back then, the industry was wool. Wool was the great moneymaker that built all these churches. In fact, they say that these grooves right here were actually made by the leashes of generations of sheepdogs. Apparently, uh, a shepherd took his dog with him everywhere, even to church. We're enjoying England, the Cotswold Villages. Happy travels.